All right, we are back with uh, with the net, the new Storm Ascent, um, the Summit Ascent. It looks looks really good. Uh, it gives me a lot of an Axiom vibe. Uh, when I first showed the Axiom, it looked really similar to this. Um, not only the colors, just as, as well as the shape. I would say the Axiom may have been a little bit earlier than this one, um, but this ball looks really good. I mean, it continues. Sometimes you get you get a get these solid symmetrical balls, and they don't really want to go through the pins on a house shot but this one looked like it kind of went through the pins. Um, it did give me some leeway when I got kind of a little rolly with it and it kind of went forward and it uh, kind of tripped some, tripped some stuff out of it. But yeah, it overall looked really good. All right, we got a couple different bowling balls to try. Um, just to see if, what the ball is doing, if it's the look that fits the ball or if it's the lane. Uh, we'll see if this lane is really good or if it's just this ball is really good. So we'll, uh, we'll test out the XL next and we got a special one for you on the third ball, so. All right, that was the Rotor Grip XL. Um, that is an asymmetrical bowling ball versus the symmetrical bowling ball. Um, those asymmetrical bowling balls are kind of earlier, so I kind of had to move a little bit left to, to get the ball to not read so much in the oil. Uh, when, you, when the ball reads a lot in the oil, it tends to tends to kind of uh, get really flat at the back end of the lane. So I moved a little bit left and threw a little bit faster, um, and it looked pretty good. Um, in comparison, they I would say that this um, that the Summit Ascent could be a step down from the XL. So when the lanes get kind of, the ball gets a little rolly, and uh, you want me want to go in a little bit and kind of hook the ball a little bit more, the uh, sense a good change rather than going to like a really shiny bowling ball. So they, they're pretty, they're pretty different, but all, all in all, pretty good. The New Blue was one of our best-selling bowling balls. So whether you love it or hate it, uh, there's a lot of people have them. So let's see it, the differences with this to the uh, New Summit Ascent. All right, so as you can see there, this is a prime example of how two solid symmetrical bowling balls can be vastly different. This new blue is really, really early, really kind of dug through the front part of the lane, and uh, it's kind of, it's definitely on the other spectrum of the solid symmetricals as the uh, Summit Ascent. Summit Ascent is definitely more cleaner, definitely a better house shot bowling ball, just so that you can kind of get through the back part, of, get through the front part of the lane and have the ball hook and continue through the pins. The new blue did not do that. You saw me wrap seven three times, and then I, I moved left and went Brooklyn. So you can see where these two, in, on paper, similar bowling balls are a lot different on the lane. So, so the Summit Ascent what, isn't quite nuts for me quite yet. Maybe when I throw out a, a few more games, maybe it'll, uh, I'll gain a love for it. But I would say it's probably in the fire. I definitely don't think it's in the May category. Um, kind of like the new blue. But we'll, uh, we'll see when we throw some more of it. All right, everyone, we are out here testing the Storm Summit Ascent, a new ball that's out from Storm. And it's the first time I've seen the ball, first time I threw it right out of the box. And the first ball <laughs> hooked really early. Um, I'm not sure if it's because of the lanes or if the ball is just that strong. It's reading the lanes that early, which is what we're here to find out. What is this ball going to do? So after a few more shots, I was able to move in a lot more than I typically do. I do know this lane's been bowled on a little bit, so it could just be the lane play. But but we brought a few balls out here as well, so I can really see, is this ball that strong? Is it gonna hook that early? Or did this pair just get a little bit burnt up? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at the Storm Ion and just see how that matches up and see how this lane compares. All your league are due so I just got done throwing the ion and I was able to stand in relatively the same spot on the lane but the ion was definitely a lot more controlled down lane a lot smoother I did miss inside a little bit on one shot and it pushed and held so I think the storm ascent is just that much stronger um, the cover is reading really early when it sees the friction it's going we have one more ball to look at to compare it to I brought the the trusty Zen, which is typically a ball I get into when the lanes start breaking down a little bit more. So we'll really be able to see how it looks compared to that. Come on, new board. I have So we just got finished up throwing the Zen, and all I can say is this lane is tough. Um, this is typically, I think, what you might see game three of league. So based on that, um, the Zen, it took me a minute to really get dialed in on the lane. I thought 
I could move back right a little bit. That was wrong. So I was able to stay back inside, slow my speed down a little bit. As you can see from the videos, the ball wasn't really finishing through the pins, but it was carrying. And when you have that carry, you just go with it until you don't. Um, out of all three of the balls though, if I were bowling, and these are the balls that I had warming up, it looks like the Ion had the best look out of the three. All right, now that all is said and done, it's time to give this ball a rating, and I'm going to rate it fire. Um, it's not meh by any means, but for me to give it a nuts rating, it's a ball that I feel I wanna take everywhere and anywhere, and I don't think it's gonna be that kind of ball for me personally. I think it's going to be a good ball to have in my bag when maybe there's a little bit more volume and I need something a little bit stronger that might read a little bit earlier to help me deal with that. Um, will it come in handy? I think it will. Will it be a house shot killer for me? Probably not. So with all that said and done, fire it is.